Hello and welcome to Every Dad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we have a bit of a problem. I accidentally bought a motherboard that is for a BTX uh, case and I have an ATX. Uh, it's a problem because I need the PC done fairly quick so I can't reorder anything. You can't really get BTX cases anymore and to get an ATX motherboard uh, is just going to take too long. So the only option I'm left with is uh, hacking this fella up and also the little small form factor BTX case so this is the little small BTX case it's um, out of a Dell machine a Dell 755 uh, so I'm gonna have to cannibalize this and also cannibalize the ATX case and hopefully I'll be able to get it to work um, the problem is all the ports uh, where the uh, power supply goes where the CPU goes and pretty much where everything goes um, relies on the case and um, yeah this BTX is just not going to work so yeah we're going to get going here and I'm going to get cutting and hopefully we can fix it up okay so I'm just going to quickly um, go through my idea I think I've got a fairly good idea what I'm going to do so this back piece I have cut out, so I've detached it from the I.O. ports and the uh, graphics card or expansion card ports and I've taken this whole back piece out like that. So I've got the two of those there so now I just have an opening at the back. So basically what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to cut this motherboard tray out of this and I'm going to try put it in on top of the existing motherboard tray so I'll use some standoffs to hold it up um, so that will give me the original uh, ports where it went out and this one as well and it will also give me the CPU mounts and the motherboard mounts that I need as for what I'm going to do for a back. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt myself here and I'm going to show you a diagram instead. Now this diagram is uh, not great, it's not to scale or anything like that, it's just something I whipped up really quickly. Um, so what we're going to have to do is, this is the ATX case that we want to modify to put the BTX motherboard in. And this is the BTX case down here. And then this is a new piece that I'm going to have to fabricate. The hole here is to accommodate a fan. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the expansion ports or the graphics card ports. Um, then we're going to move the power supply uh, bracket from the bottom to the top, like that. We're then going to put in our new piece, like so. And that's going to be riveted all the way around and riveted into the power supply bracket as well. We're going to then move the fan, uh, cut out and move the fan to here. Uh, we're going to take out these I.O. ports altogether and we're going to put in the motherboard tray and the I.O. ports from this one, like that. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. This is just going to be a blank piece with nothing on it. This is going to be where the graphics card comes out. Uh, these are where all our ports are going to be, our fan and our power supply unit. Yeah, so that's the general idea. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. The PC is all finished now. The motherboard fits and all that. Um, I actually have it built and all as well. There'll be a video to follow on that. And yeah, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.